the tough to call women's bouts just keep coming on this card. Uh, this one's a straw weight battle between the tiny tornado Tisha Torres and the bull Brianna Van Buren. Brianna Van Buren is one of the more uh, exciting young fighters, young female fighters for sure in the straw weight division. She's only 26 years old. She's four foot 11, actually the same height as my wife. And it was, so it's just funny. So every time I see her in there, I imagine my wife in there fighting, which would probably not go too well. But it's a this is a fight that I think is um, an interesting one because both of the women usually are like the shortest in their uh, in the octagon. But in this fight, uh, they're getting the rare opportunity to face someone who is right in the same height range. Uh, Tisha Torres is only five one, so we're looking at you know from a size standpoint something that's a very even matchup. So I think this is good matchmaking here. Um, Torres has to have a win here. She's lost four fights in a row. Now the competition that she's faced in these losses is exemplary i mean she has literally faced every single person just about who has been a ufc strawweight champion during this time with the exception of rose nama Yunus and carla esparza so she she's lost to joanna yajacic jessica andraj i mean it, it you know it's it's just and Li Zhang. Uh, it's just been amazing, you know, how she's had to face these different people. And then in her last fight, she loses to a really highly touted up and comer, Marina Rodriguez. So this competition has been really stiff for her. So if there's ever been a respectable four fight losing streak, this is it. But it's still at the end of the day, a four fight losing streak. And she's got to get a win. She is a really good striker. Her issue is that she does not have power. She just doesn't have power. She she like lacks the ability to finish completely. And that is one of her issues because because she's so short uh, and usually given up height to most of her opponents, she has to work so much harder to win the striking battles and without the KO ability and without this fantastic ability to finish on the ground, you know, everything's coming down to a decision. She's at a at a reach and length disadvantage. So she's fighting like this uphill battle most most fights so she has literally just one finish in her entire career so that is a really i mean i don't know you might have to look to see if there's another professional mixed martial artist with 15 or more professional fights and have only finished one opponent that is pretty pretty like amazing just to think about right uh she has to be able to outstrike brianna van buren and i think this is this could be one of the rare fights for Torres where she doesn't have a speed advantage because Brianna Van Buren is lightning fast. I mean, she gets in and out quickly, you know, quick strikes. She transitions from one, two combinations in the changing levels to going for takedowns. She's also got a little bit of pop in her hands, even though most of her finishes come have come by submission. She's got some pop in her hands. I don't think she knocks Torres out because Torres is pretty tough herself. Um, but she, I think Brianna Van Buren has a little bit more power in her hands. So her punches and strikes may, may look a little bit better to the judges for sure. She's, if, if, you know, Torres is on one end of the spectrum from a momentum standpoint, Brianna Van Buren's on the entirely other end. She's on a six fight winning streak, got some solid submissions mixed in there. Uh, I think she should actually be a little bit better on the ground than than Tisha Torres. Tisha Torres is absolutely no slouch down there. I mean, if you think about some of the people that she's faced and been able to either beat or at least survive once the fight went to the ground, then it gives you just even more evidence that, you know, that Torres can handle herself down there. But I think that Bianca Van Buren is probably a little better on the ground. And I also think she's quicker. So overall, I like Br uh, Van Buren winning this fight. Uh, bad unanimous decision. I like I said, I don't think she'll finish Torres. Uh, I don't think either of, of the women have that type of explosive power, but I do think that Van Buren will outpoint her pretty much on every on all three judges' cards. Just in a, I think will be a clear victory. She comes in as the minus two hundred favorite according to Bet Online, and Marie um, Teacher Torres is a plus one seventy underdog. So. 
Whew, you hate to put a five fight losing streak on somebody, especially someone who is as talented as Tisha Torres. But I think she might be looking at a five fight skid here. And it'll just some interesting questions to answer at that point. I mean, you're going into BJ Penn territory uh, then and with a de-escalating level of competition for at least from a name recognition standpoint. That's a really troubling point of her career. So we'll see what happens if that is the way it goes. But yes, I have Brianna Van Buren getting the victory.